What's going on, guys? It's Brandon back here, and today I finally decided let's look at the Chicago Blackhawks 2021-22 offseason, or I should just say the 2022 offseason uh, free agency signings. And the Hawks, up to this point, have made four four major ones. We're not going to talk about entry level contracts or like that kind of thing, or just like those minor league deals that don't really matter until they do. But um, so the Hawks have made four. I know there's guys like Kadri and Klingberg. And um, other people coming to my head, can't remember. There's, there's still there's still uh, a lot of players still out there on the free agent market, Kadri and Klingberg being the two biggest. But um, let's look at the four that the Hawks have made. Now, ironically, three of these are guys I do usually pick up for when I'm doing franchise mode and if I need some third or fourth line depth at the deadline. Um... Domi aside, stay lock. I've never. I don't think I've ever used in franchise mode. Domi, I've signed at the start of the season. I, I I signed him in this season, whichever team I'm with, and he's usually my fourth line left winger. And I've won cups with him, so it works. Now let's start. We'll start with Andreas. Ap- I've always struggled with this name, Andreas Athanasiu. He spent 2021-22 with LA. He was injured for a part of the season. He played 28 games, 11 goals, 6 assists, 17 points for him. I'm not including playoff stats because, let's be honest, Chicago is not making the playoffs. So, yeah, Andre Seth, and I see you, pretty good year, although he was injured for most of it, but when he did play, he was good. Max Domi, 2021-22, he split it with two teams. He was with Columbus for 53 games. He had 9 goals, 23 assists, 32 points. But then he was traded to Carolina at the deadline, 19 games, 2 goals, 5 assists, 7 points, for a total of 11 goals, 28 assists, 39 points. Not too bad. He was, at this point, he's a depth player. He's not. He doesn't have the potential that he once had. Colin Blackwell, excellent depth fourth line player. Uh, he also split the season with 2021-22. He was, part, he was selected in the expansion draft by Seattle from the New York Rangers, which he played 39 games, 8 goals, 9 assists, 17 points. Then he was traded to Toronto at the deadline, 19 games played, 2 goals, 1 assist, 3 points. So that's 10 goals, 10 assists, 20 points. So for a fourth line player, not awful. And then Alex Stalock. <laughs> he played one game in 2021-22. He's a veteran goaltender, career backup or third third goaltender. Um, he played one game this season. Um, was it with Edmonton or Anaheim? I know he was traded because he gave like... I don't remember. Who doesn't? It doesn't matter who he was with, because he played one game, went 0-1 with a 786 save percentage and 7.81 goals against average. I saw that and kind of did a flip over my chair because I was just shocked. But yeah, these are the four signings that the Hawks have made. Do you think these are good signings for tanking? I think so. I mean, Athanasiu somehow is probably going to end up if Taze is gone. He's going to be the first line center. Domi's gonna probably gonna be on the top two lines, depending where Tyler Johnson plays. But Johnson's a center and right wing, so I don't know. Blackwell, he can play both left and right wing and center. I'm pretty sure he can play all three. And Staylock will be the backup to Morazic because <laughs> this is gonna be the worst season I've ever seen. And um, it's 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 just, it's at this point where like it's gotten to the point where like we're go we're going in for Bedard, so it's just <laughs> it's it's funny at this point. But yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, whenever that is. But what if should be coming back? I just want to do this little two-day thing where I just changed it up a bit. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.